Hi, welcome to the Road to Liberty Bell. Thanks. Why would you open your house to a couple of complete strangers last night? <laughs> um, there's just something about instant community with Bernie people, you know. Um, I think a lot of us were feeling very alone and isolated in our beliefs and our um, discontent with the way things were going in the world and hearing Bernie give such voice to the beliefs that we all share um, I think really brought people together and so I think for a lot of us when we know another Bernie person even if we don't really know them we feel like we know them because um, we have a lot in common and we went through this fight together and there's just something about Bernie people they're good people. Well, I'm an at-large delegate for Senator Sanders and uh, this fight is has been ongoing so I'm glad to see you here. And McKinleyville is in Humboldt County. That's what right. did Humboldt County go That's for it, Bernie? The, the widest spread in the state, 70.4% for Senator Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> well done. That's it. Yeah, we're, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's not just us. I mean, it's the people that are here. It's the demographics, no doubt. This is a very liberal corner of the world. Um, maybe it's why I feel so at home here. I am here because I cannot stop. I cannot stop working for Bernie. I've never worked for a political campaign in my life. I've never thought I would. I definitely never thought I would work for a presidential campaign. The Bernie campaign, what I like about it is it got exponentially more people involved in politics. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I feel very sad when I see written on social media or I hear, oh, I don't care about politics. Politics doesn't affect me, but it affects all of us. These are the people that make our roads happen or not happen, that make our fire departments happen or not happen, or make systemic racism happen or not happen, make climate obstruction happen or not happen. So it's very, very important from the lowest um, on the totem pole, your city council people, to your dog catcher, your sheriff is extremely important, all the way up to the, 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 the icon of, of the president. I've been following him since 2008, getting his emails, this amazing senator from Vermont who had these progressive values about a world that works for everyone. I mean, I followed him for so long, and then when he announced he was running for president, I remember that day, I remember telling my husband, oh my god, Bernie's running for president! I can't believe it! I think the best part of this campaign, not just here in Humboldt County, but across the nation, was to see uh, the intersectionality of all of these different social and environmental issues exposed and the activists and organizers from all of these different movements come together under the umbrella of the political revolution. I saw fracking activists and broader just climate activists and LGBT and Native Americans and, and anti-prison reformists and everybody come together under the same fight and a lot of alliances were made, bridges were formed and if we don't let the endorsement of Ms. Clinton get us down, what we can do is, is to really build on those bridges and to build on this movement that we've created and, and change the world. The group formerly known as Northern Humboldt for Bernie is becoming the North Coast People's Alliance and we are going to use the momentum and the energy that Bernie brought to us and inspired in us um, to continue that type of work on a local level. So what have you here tonight? Well, we went through this whole thing with how we're, the whole step-by-step -step process of how we're taking over the Democratic Party of Oregon. Yep. And then um, we're going to have an educational component and work on educating ourselves to be more effective activists, educating the community about the issues and about candidates. I think that nationwide people need to be educated more about what the voting requirements are in each state. I think a lot of times that's kind of hidden information. It's not really made so well known and so a lot of people get closed out of voting mm -hmm. because they haven't met the criteria and that should change. I think people need to have more education on what what's available and what the criteria is and what all the rules are. My biggest goal definitely is to get more people involved and let them know that this movement began with Bernie. It continued with his candidacy, it continued with his presidential campaign, but it will not stop. It will not stop. We have started something that I feel is the most important thing in my lifetime that will happen, and we need to get people involved and continue with the political revolution. There's just no way for us to do this without everyone being collective, and that's, that's very, very difficult, you know. 
We're not that unlike places like Russia or China or even North Korea with our media. Our media is corporate controlled instead of state, but it's not really that much different. And so we, we don't even know that the world is an uprising. And France is having the largest revolution they've had in 200 years against the very same things that the Bernie campaign was, was about. Inequality, oppression, suffering, cruelty, um, elitism, colonialism, imperialism, um, all these fun isms. And they all stem from one thing, capitalism. I've been waiting 40 years for an answer to this question. In 73, when I was newly married, they had the first gas crisis, and they had all the lines, and people were mainly worried about running out of gasoline. And my husband and my friends and I all looked at each other, and we go, well, we know this stuff is polluting, and we know they're going to run out of it. Why don't they just start retooling now and changing over to electric cars and whatever else they've got that's clean technology that doesn't use fossil fuels? Why don't they start doing it now while they have time? You know, so we've had a gas crisis, and if we start working, maybe we won't have very many more of them, and maybe in 10 or 15 years we won't even care and we'll be done with gas. We can't have a just system within capitalism. It's, it's just not possible. Um, because it's based on a growth economy, it's based on an extraction economy. We don't have an infinite resource structure with which to do that, and we're seeing that. And even though they know, um, I don't care. If I could say one thing to all the delegates and superdelegates at the convention, I would say this. Why are you backing the weaker candidate against Trump if you really wanted to beat Trump? Why aren't you backing the one person who can beat him? So, who do you want to win? Do you want Trump to win? Or do you want the Democrats to win? Because if you want the Democrats to win, right now you're not doing very well in the polls. I don't feel like I really had a positive experience of our country until now, until I realized, hey, the country is me. I can do something about it. I can change things. Within the decision-making process and the legislative process, like we're seeing with the Trans-Pacific Partnership, even with the trade deals and things like that. So that's my major concern is um, how do we get, um, you know, get rid of corporate personhood and so that our voices can be heard and we can truly be represented moving forward. Mr. Shear. Oh, wow. For, on behalf of Marin for Bernie, we offer you Two hundred seventy dollars awesome. to get on your way to Philadelphia. Now, here's what I have for your viewers. Whenever I've got these bills in my hand for the last eight months, I've wrote, "Bernie wants you to have more of these," because that was just absolutely the truth. So, if you've got one in your hands over the last year, they came from Humboldt County, California. Awesome. On the on the cup. Awesome. All right, Jenna. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is wonderful. Oh, so good to talk. <laughs> so how are you getting to Philly? We're driving. Wow, I'm terrible with the camera, but I have something to say and like I never get to talk.